These are the 16 things that you must know before you plan to go to Paris to try your luck with the lottery leather appointment system with Hermes to try to get quota back or non quota back. I'll tell you how to get leather appointment without winning the lottery. What's the right question to ask your essay? What are the right essay to go to. I hope you take everything I learned this time, avoid all the mistakes that I have made to get your dream bag. I'll link the leather appointment website down below in the description box for you. I have another detailed Hermes shopping experience video talking about how I was able to get these appointments without winning the lotto and also exactly what I have experienced. If you want to know all the details, I will link that video down below for you to check it out after this video. The first thing you need to know is that right now is definitely not a good time to go. I went during Christmas 2022. You know how we usually think that Hermes has more bags during holiday season and they're really happy to give people out. That is not the case anymore. Me and hubby we have two passport and a plus two of my friend's passport. We have four passport and we were in Paris for 11 days and now we got zero leather appointment via the leather appointment system. According to different essays I worked with along the way from my story that one essay told me they have 10,000 people enter every day and another essay told me that they have 17,000 people entering the leather appointment system every single day. Even you add up total available leather appointment between Seth, George V and the FSH and the total amount is less than 200 every day. So the chances of winning the lottery system is really really low. The chances of getting BKC among all all these leather appointments is even lower. Based on all my spending in Hermes this time, 15,000 euro, I wasn't able to score any BKC and you can kind of tell how difficult it is but you could say that 15,000 is not all ready to wear or high margin stuff. That is true but even only counting the high margin stuff, I was spending over 7,000 euro and I just wasn't able to get any. Let me tell you, it's really hard in Paris to get a BKC right now. From talking to different SA during my entire trip, the message is consistent. Basically, there is less bags right now and in 2023, Hermes even getting less quota bags than 2022. So absolutely, everything pointing to me that it's gonna be hard. Don't go to Paris if you are trying to get a BKC in 2023. At least I don't think it's a good time to go right now unless you think your luck is way 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 above average. The situation is no longer how it was a few years ago but if you are aiming for a non-quota bag it's still possible. Let me tell you the tricks in a bit. The second thing you really need to know is that I want you to do two mental preparation. I mentally prepared my Myself just in case I couldn't get a BKC but when the disappointment hits me it hits me really hard. The fact that, that I couldn't get a BKC I was really disappointed. I was so sad. I was dying inside. I want you to be prepared not going through what I have been through. The second preparation that you really really need to do is that you're gonna hear a lot. People's gonna tell you I'm sorry, there's nothing for you. No bags, no BKC, there's nothing available. You need to be prepared. Everyone's gonna tell you that you need a leather appointment in order to get any bags. I'll tell you some tricks in a bit, but you must be mentally prepared. I want you to actually think about what you can get, what's your spending, what's your budget, and plan everything out beforehand and like what kind of BKC you want, what kind of leather bags do you want so you are prepared. If you have an old SA, absolutely reach out. Even you're not able to get anything via the leather appointment system, you still have a backup and you have someone that you have a relationship with. If you don't have an SA, this time is a time for you to find an essay for you to work with for your future visit. You know when you fill out the leather appointment request form online, there's one section is asking you store preferences. You will be given all three boutiques to enter the lottery. Be sure to select no preference in this section. This way you will be entered three times to all three boutiques versus only one boutique you selected. This was told by multiple essays 
during my trip. So make sure you absolutely do that when you enter the letter appointment. At the beginning of a few days when I just got to Paris, I actually also entered the letter appointment with my son's passport and he's only two years old and I was trying to see if I can also get an appointment with his passport. And when I asked multiple essay this question, the answer I got is consistent. Do not enter the letter appointment with your son daughter's passport if anyone is younger than 18 years old has no ability to make any purchase even you hit the jackpot win the lotto you bring the passport bring your son your daughter to the letter appointment you will be rejected once i found out that piece of information from my essays i stopped entering with my son's passport because i think i'm gonna hate myself if we win the lotto by using my son's passport so there are three full service boutique in paris that you can schedule that appointment with which is george fifth fsh which is the flagship boutique and uh saf saf is on the left bank george fifth and fsh is on right bank george fifth is the most small boutique among three of them and they have the least inventory personally i think fsh and saf both are really good opportunities just depending on your personal preference fsh definitely has more bags than saf but also at the same time, they have more customer competings for bags. So either one are really good options for you to try to get a bag or quota bag. So the lottery system is out of your hand. And once you enter, just forget about it. And best strategy should still be line up in any of the boutique in the morning. The reason I said in the morning is later it gets the last bag they have. If you remember what I mentioned in my shopping experience video, Paris, SA works in different ways as the US SA. US SA sell you everything in all department, but Paris SA works in their particular department like SLG SA. In the ideal scenario, it's best for you to identify the leather goods SA that also works on the floor. They are rotating every two weeks. So it's really difficult to, you know, go up to ask and say, hey, are you a leather SA? You're not a leather SA. I can't work with you. If you remember my my experience with my essay number one I'd say absolutely avoid contractors I personally have nothing against contractors but the main point is that you are spending so much money with someone that has no say no authority and it can't give you anything your goal should be try to identify a senior essay that you can work with if someone has been working in a mess for a few years already also have a say and they get along with you the money same amount of money you spend with this senior person is much more worthwhile than spending with someone new or contractor that has no authority if that makes sense to you essentially comparing the question hey, which department do you work at to your essay? A better question to ask is that, hey, how long have you been with Hermes? Usually if they tell you they've been with Hermes for a few years, that's a good sign. They are relatively more senior than newer people, but if they are vague about it, like my essay number one, it's a little bit suspicious. If you watched my shopping experience video, you know essay number one basically lied to me, false promised me all these things and told me that a Birkin and a Kelly is possible. I had some doubt for sure and I just feel something wasn't right from my gut feeling but I decided to go with it. I should have not purchased many items in one visit which kind of give me a bad star for my entire visit. If I could redo all these again, I would tell myself that if someone tells me that, why don't you pay for these items now? Oh, a Birkin and Kelly is totally possible. We can make it happen by client relationship and purchase history. These are all red flags. I would not buy anything from this person. I will walk away and try to pick a different essay. It's just too good to be true. And I was also thinking to myself next time if i really really wanted to test out the water i will buy two three thousand euro instead of seven thousand euro if i only spend two three thousand i can still pick a different essay to start from scratch if you feel anything is not right trust your gut feeling just feel free to walk away don't be like me don't purchase anything the power is yours until you pay for it. I have tons of regret buying things from 
as a number one. If I could redo all these things again, go to Paris again, I would walk straight to personally two of my favorite category from Hermes. One is ready to wear fine jewelry and they are my favorite. And also the other thing is that these are high margin category, which will make your spending more worthwhile if you are buying these things from the same mass A and try to find a senior one to work with. The outcome will be way better than what happened to me this time. If you watch my shopping experience video, you know that I got one of my leather appointment via cancel the leather appointment. If you go to any leather appointment registration desk in the boutique, you ask if you can get a leather appointment, they're gonna say you have to go through online. They're gonna hand you a card, but don't ask that. Be sure to ask them, hey, is there any canceled leather appointment? Then they can check for you. This is just another way to increase your chances just in case if you can't get your appointment via the leather appointment system online. But honestly, this chance is also really low. Although I was able to get one, but I was also stopping by the Hermes boutique, different boutique, try to ask for cancel the leather appointment for the rest of my trip every single time when I was in the area. At least I asked for a couple of times, but I never got another one. And literally that canceled appointment was the only one that I was able to get, but I still feel like very lucky already. If you just happen to be in the area, definitely give it a try. The next thing I want to mention is some of you may be aware of Mass's return policy is 30 day with original stay exchange for store credit. If everyone buys Hermes goods and then you buy the quota bag and then you get the quota bag, you return everything else that you buy, I don't think the business will be good. So they only allow you for store credit. However, if you go into a boutique, the SA order for you via Hermes.com, those online orders are entitled to for refund, not only just exchange. This piece of information might come handy to you. So you know how the story I mentioned to you with essay number four, when I walked to FSH boutique to the ready to wear section and the essay was able to offer me Kelly de Pichis and the mini Hosen bag as well. If I could do all these again, I will walk to a ready to wear essay and ask them to get the bag that I want, but also I will make a few thousand euro per purchases because I don't think any SA will be able to offer you two bags without any purchases. My spending before I met SA number four definitely helped for the non quota bags that you want. If you are willing to spend a couple thousand euro with the right SA and they also happen to have this non quota bag available for you, they will absolutely give you this bag from my experience. I got my constant slim with uh, SA number three in FSH. I was able to find out from her there are some exceptions if you spend exceeded a certain amount with the same SA in the boutique that they will be able to apply for manager approval on a case by case basis. That totally aligned with what I always believed in. I just don't know what the high amount means. If you are willing to spend, you are absolutely able to get BKC. I know some of you asked me that if my two other non quota bag offer affected my quota bag offer. I actually asked this question to the SA. She said it was really not because my non quota bag purchase and it is allowed. It didn't affect it, my quota bag offer. Non quota bag purchase should not affect quota bag purchase. But if you are worried and you can try to get leather appointment first to, to try your luck, focus on BKC first. So for now that my Paris SA cannot see anything else that I purchased in the US, but they can see all the quota bag purchases. So I would say is that it's not completely linked yet, at least right now, but 
they are able to see your quota bag if you have already gotten two quota bags in the US within the same year then you're not gonna be able to get your third quota bag in Paris just like how I was able to get my leather appointment my silver lining is although SA number one treats me so bad but I might have gotten the second leather appointment because of her although I wasn't able to get a BKC this time but everything I learned the lesson if it could be beneficial to you help you to get a bag that's the silver lining to me no matter what happens the power is yours especially before you spend this money a bag or not it's first world problems and I wish you all the best of luck getting your dream bag in Paris and I'll see you soon bye bye